Hello and welcome everyone. Today we are going to talk about some highlights of planning and monitoring. As we know this is one of a key chapter according to business analyst body of knowledge and throughout this slide throughout this training we talk about how to plan what is the good proper way to plan from the business analyst perspective and how to measure the performance of a business analyst or the activity which is happening as we see here the business the analysis things process. which we are going to talk about what are the different processes which we must follow as we see here planning for analysis approach conducting stakeholder analysis planning analysis activities communication plan requirement management process managing overall performance what exactly all this about as we see it's very important that we have the early stage of the project where we are going to capture all the different ways how to analyze the process how, what are the different analysis process we are going to talk about which are the stakeholders who can negatively or positively impact our projects activities the list of activities which must outline in the beginning of the projects for the ease of the project to go smoothly so that we don't have unidentified items towards the execution phase of the project communication plan it must be well documented whether it is formal or informal in the early stage of the planning phase where we know what are the multi directional communications project may have and the business analyst may require requirement management process as its name as it stands out the requirement management process that means we must have a betterment better way to identify the requirement and how to manage that what are the different parameters we can put towards to manage the project manage the requirement in a better way managing overall analysis performance we must have the parameters put in place to identify to measure the performance of the analysis to performance of the overall process and that's what we are going to learn about as we know there are multiple list of activities which are involved as part of the activity or the phases throughout the requirement analysis process what are these as it says input what are the inputs which are required for the successful completion of this planning and the monitoring phase as we can see here we must need to understand we as a business analyst must understand the value of the reason of the project why we are doing it before he or she may start working on the project the expert judgment is required the expert judgment is always provided by anyone who have a great interest or the knowledge for that particular business or the subject matter experts from any particular area who can have great interest in your project who can positively impact your project by providing the right and the successful information on given time frame the organizational asset when we talk about the assets the organizational assets always comes towards any historical project any knowledge base which you can have access to where you can refer back to any overall flow of the project any historical data template any kind of a documentation you can think about it who can help which can help you to understand what has happened in the past or you can get some reference point from those documents performance metrics as we say it's a metrics that means we have to outline some of the parameters that how we are going to measure the performance of the overall analysis process enterprise architect now as a project business analyst we are going to design something for to satisfy the future need of the sponsor now to satisfy the future need we must understand the current architecture what are the systems impacted what are the inbound and the outbound flow between the document between the systems how the inbound and the outbound processes are working so before we go ahead and write down something for the future we must understand the we must understand what is the current flow what is the current impact how the system is working today before we assess or judge the future project or the process activities when we have set of inputs we must process those inputs and try to massage the data so that we understand what are the different tasks 
a business analyst should have during the analysis process as we see here the analysis approach the analysis approach is nothing that how and when what technique will be used during the business analysis process stakeholder analysis it's a very important part of the project because we are going to understand who and when is going to have an influential impact on the project so identifying the stakeholder is very important and their role and responsibility how bigger it could be how smaller it could be we must understand that planning b activities all the activities needs to be planned ahead of the time along with the dates that how a business analyst is going to provide the deliverables and what are the different timelines for that the business analyst communication we must plan the communication whether it is a formal or the informal in terms of you can think about the training team needs to be aware of and also any other team which needs to be updated in advance whether it is a formal or informal before they start working on the project a requirement management process what it is all about or the performance we must plan how we are going to manage the complete process what are the different dates which we meet to satisfy the overall scope of the project the performance metrics we must plan the list of action items and we have to put together the parameter to understand how each of the parameter is going to be measured again that okay if we have missed the timeline of the business requirement document how the performance would be whether we are going in positive side of it or whether we are going on the negative side of it so performance measurement is very important throughout each and every task of the project as we see here the output the output is nothing it's an a final outcome of the complete process that when we took the input massage the data massage the input throughout the task processing throughout the activity process and then we are talking about the final outcome of it what is the final outcome of what we just completed the final outcome is you have the approach finalized so you have a final document where you have all the approach finalized you have a final communication plan you have a final assessment of that how we are going to measure the performance of the as, as, uh, analyst or the analysis so you have a final plan which is well documented analysis plan how you are going to analyze the data what are the different dates associated with that so now you have a final analysis plan all the process assets what are the process assets during the elicitation process or during the analysis process or whatever process we have completed so far all the diagrams all the workflows which we have captured so far that can be considered as a process project asset or the process asset requirement management plan as we have gone through different stages of the activities now we have the final requirement management plan which we can use stakeholder list roles and responsibilities now we have a final concrete list of stakeholders and their roles and their responsibility how they are going to contribute throughout the project life cycle towards the end if you want to watch the complete video please subscribe at www.adiox.com or you can call us at 8482000448 or you can write to us info@adiox.com thanks and have a wonderful day